now you can see that you know these are the cases you know where there is uh, you know you can see brisket edema now if you see you know brisket edema in lumpy skin disease uh, uh, then you know this is mostly because of right ventricular failure and here you will have to uh, and, and this right ventricular failure leads to pulmonary edema and pulmonary edema in term is you know because of the you know interfered venous return so we have found that injection of digoxin to improve the contractibility of heart helps here along with diuretic now in diuretic also we found that furosemide which is very commonly used in case of uh, you know veterinary practice was not really very useful and we found out that you know there is second generation diuretics you know which got torsemide is you know quite useful so our large number of uh, uh, you know vets instead of furosemide you know shifted on torsemide uh, to be given uh, intramuscular injection and also started you know using digoxin and with that they found that the brisket edema was you know uh, resolved and the contractibility of heart as well as pulmonary edema was also resolved another another uh, in a picture which i am showing you on my right side uh, is you know you can see the swelling of the limb now this swelling of the limb is uh, not you know because of the edema you know there is edema but the major reason of this edema is deep vein thrombosis and you will uh, and you'll know that even in covid 19 and other and, and other viruses also wherever you know you have a cytokine storm and you have coagulopathy defect you will have these kind of lesions where there is swelling and this swelling is because of the defective venous return because of thrombus on the uh, uh, you know the uh, far limb so you'll find that you know there is you know thromboemboli and those thromboemboli is interfering in venous return because of which the uh, you know the fluid oozes out and there is uh, you know, and, and you can see that you know there is also swelling now such cases you know can cannot be resolved only by giving diuretic because you know what diuretic will do is only you know remove the fluid but here because there is already thrombosis diuretic is not going to be effective so here you will have to use uh, some drug which will resolve the thrombus and we found that there are two different drugs you know which we used in two, two different sets of animals initially we started using heparin as i said earlier and that heparin was 300 international unit per kg subcutaneously to be repeated you know as often as possible but some you know, sometimes the you know the vets reported that you know because of heparin injection uh, you know they were also having problems related with bleeding although you know there is a good antidote available for heparin that is you know protamine and if you give protamine immediately it it you know it's a miraculous you know, type of antidote as soon as you give protamine any ill effect of heparin you know will be taken care of but the vets were very uh, apprehensive because after giving after giving heparin you know they would go back to another village and by that time if they receive a call that you know there is uh, now bleeding it's very difficult for them to write back so then we developed you know another protocol where instead of instead of heparin we started using a drug which is called warfarin now warfarin is uh, another uh, very good you know, thrombolytic uh, drug uh, it is available for uh, you know human but it's not available as injectable but fortunately we found out in literature that you know warfarin given orally in ruminant is also absorbed so we developed a protocol where you know we started giving warfarin uh, at the loading dose and then you know slowly lowering it over a period of one week so the loading dose here was 20 milligram so this is available in the market as five milligram tablet so we were giving four tablet uh, initially uh, you know for uh, two to three days followed by another two to three days 15 milligram followed by 10 milligram and with that you know we found that you know this thrombola thromb, there was a you know, very effective thrombolysis and the edema of the brisket as well as edema of the uh, you know limbs was uh, uh, you know resolved very fast another another problem which we found was if you are not giving uh, you know warfarin or heparin to take care of edema which is uh, you know due to thrombosis then it will develop into uh, you know because of the occlu occlusion in the blood supply there will be necrosis and necrosis you know will lead to very huge uh, you know wound you know which will be in the terminal stages and then taking care of you know those wound becomes very difficult very difficult because those are very very extensive exfoliative kind of you know wound which i will be able to you know, show you later on <clears throat> so here the protocol was that if you are having brisket edema and then if you find that heart rate is high there is tachycardia 
then you said okay you know you go for digoxin to be given 0 0.025 mg per kg body weight at least for three days check for heart rate the heart rate should come down and then followed by either heparin or warfarin and uh, in the loading uh, you know doses and the tapering one and then within two to three days the brisket edema should resolve and in another six to seven days you know the edema of the limbs you know, should also get resolved and the animals you know should be you know back on the uh, on, on its feet as normal healthy again so with this protocol you know, we could save large number of animals even very severe cases which were which you know the farmers and the vets had lost hope that you know, they will not be able to treat these cases with very you know simple staging and uh, and and you know very uh, you know, intelligent kind of you know treatment strategies we were able to uh, you know resolve even those cases so can i have